We do begin with breaking news. The Dayton Bob Squad is called to a Centerville home after a motor shell is found inside. And just minutes ago, that device was detonated at a nearby park. Robert Lowry was there. Breaks down what we've learned, including how that device was found. Robert? That's right. The Dayton Bomb Squad have detonated that device here at Red Coach Park in Centerville. It's a relic of World War II that Dayton at uh, Centerville police say they are happy didn't go off inside one of the homes here on the 5500 block of Royal Wood Drive. And that right there is what Centerville say was a Japanese mortar. I was told that when they did the research on it, it came with a kill radius of 80 meters. Just a little bit of info on what they were dealing with. It was found as crews were setting up for an estate sale here on Royal Wood Drive. One of the home's owners was a World War II vet, is what we're told, who died about 10 years ago. Now, police tell us that it is most likely where the mortar came from. After getting a call, Centerville Police and Fire, Dayton Bomb Squad, and Wright Patterson EOD took the device, burying it inside the ground. And the company preparing for the estate sale said they didn't want to take any chances with what they found. We weren't sure if it was live or not, so we checked with the family. They said it wasn't, but we called the police just to be sure that nothing dangerous happened. Now, Centerville police did tell me that they were not sure if the device was live or not. What well, they were told by the bomb squad that the damage inside the hole was a little bit more than the explosive damage the bomb squad uses to trigger devices like that. Still unclear at this time if it was live, but they do recommend if you find any devices like this really left over from World War II to really call the bomb squad, call police departments, let them know that you have something of this and they will take care of it properly. Reporting live in Centerville, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.